Hello guys, Paperol here. Today I'm discussing the subject of traps. Traps or ranger uh, for condition, since it cannot be used with bar, don't do that people. And why I don't use them and I don't think they are the best option, even so I think they are great skills and offer a lot of value in multiple play styles in competitive BVU, etc. First we need to understand what are traps or what they used for. Traps are skills that can be laid on the ground, they cannot be seen except while, while you put them, they can be triggered by a touch from any enemy, can be seen only by your allies, not your enemies. And they can go off cooldown, so once your enemy triggered them, you can be put them again if you were putting them for uh, a while already. They are AoE, they cause damage to the target, and they put a condition. The traps on Ranger. What are the good thing from every trap or the entire system? For a start, your damaging trap on ranger are three minor ones and one that kinda useless used only for CC and BV, which is frost traps, causing chill on every hit. The other traps are Viber Trap, a Viber Nest, which cause poison for three hits, three stacks on every hit, giving a lot of poison to everyone stepped in it already. Uh, or walked through it while still working. And Flame Trap, which uh, probably is the highest damaging trap Ranger has, causing damage and giving burning in every balls to the people who touch it or walked in it. But Flame Trap actually trigger two hits in the first start. That would like count as two hits, not one. And Spike Trap, which one hit giving bleed, a huge amount in BVE and incredibly small amount in competitive modes was much lower cooldown. Healing Trap, which a great healing skill, would remove a lot of condition for you and your allies and give you regeneration. Those are Trap skill. The benefit of using them are they are AoE, damaging, they can be off cooldown and used again immediately, uh, they cannot be seen from your target, etc. We have this, uh, said what you can use them for, but you can even have more. Since you can use a rune that called Trapper Rune, which give you stealth and super speed every time you use a trap. Traps can be used now for kiting. You can force people to follow you around, following your traps while you're running fast and getting stealth. The downside of this is all traps cause damage except your healing trap, so they would reveal you immediately. You wouldn't get the benefit of it. If people was already standing on it, you will get an instant reveal. Since you are revealed for 6 seconds, you can still again with another trap unless it's gone. And another downside, trap rune give you only 10% condition duration. This means you sacrificed other options like right rune, which I use to have 50% bleeding duration. Another downside for them, you use utility skills now for pure damage purpose or for some kiting on travel rune, but now you lost options like stun breaks or condition removal or damage mitigation play style like Signet of Stone or damage modifier even. Uh, something like Sikkim, which is not a really good option for condition, but if you're playing hybrid for example, and that is a lot of loss for a lot for a lot of gain, so it's calculative. But that gets us to another problem, which is stun break. The general rule is you can't play competitive style without at least one stun break. But if you play condition, I think this rule is wrong. You need at least two stun breaks if you really wanna be effective. If you don't have at least two stun breaks, you can fill the gap with a lot of kiting potential and a lot of defensive to avoid damage from people like blocks and multiple dodges and a lot of stats but i don't think it will ever be completely enough because if you're fighting like two player and you dodge the cc if you take one use your stun break and now you are vulnerable until it's off cooldown you don't have another option Second thing is, you don't have enough condition removal. Healing trap is not that effective in competitive style, since you need to be stationed inside it. 
kiting in and out of it at least to get some benefit and that completely the opposite of what we just say a lot of kiting dodging and stealthing since you need to be running and making people follow you or stuff like this so there is three play style in competitive modes for traps the first is the burst one when you put a lot of condition in a single zone and force people to stand in it so they would die fast like use usually torch of hand so you trigger bonfire with two traps of condition and you do something like iboga so trigger a field that balls um, condition too and you would use entangle to force people stand in it or ball people in it with the boga uh, or ancient trigger ancient seed through spike trap many ways but the point is you force people to stand in them and take all that damage in that play style something like healing spring become really effective since you forcing people to stand in a specific area you're on another or on the same area while you're tanking them they are trying to survive you the problem with this play style it assumes that people can survive your damage but the fact that most people or the normal play style the good one would run enough condition mitigation that would they cleanse everything or completely stop it in vuln in it resustain themselves and now you're completely off cooldown or most of your skills at least and that gets us to the next play style which actually a uh, consistent damage i like to call it a zone system or zone play style when you control multiple zones the entire area become dangerous you would use something like probably torch to do boon fire on one area use a single trap so someone would be baited to dodge this and walk through this so we use a, after a few seconds another trap you keep damaging them or making zone control using your skills so you'd always have something something come off cooldown something come on cooldown or at least become close to each other and not on the same area so you would at least make sure your opponent or opponents take some of the damage you know they will cleanse it so you're giving them some and you always keep something for yourself the last play style is the kiting one when you are so fast depending on probably stills or dodges you would put a trap you would step in it you put another trap you time your traps use when not being revealed so you can kite more which a great play style can wear people off but the problem is it it can be completely ineffective if people have enough condition removal you don't enough t you don't give him enough time to die you put flame trap oops they trigger but now they cleanse it you kiting and after six seconds you put another one and they probably cleanse it and even your kiting cannot be effective enough so those are the three play styles how you usually would use traps if you don't use traps the other obvious option is usually survival skills and this is one of the downsides of trap on survival skills you don't have to use something like travel room which you didn't really have to use on traps but it makes the most obvious choice if you want to kite if you play the other styles you don't need to kite then sure this is not a downside but the other thing you use something like sharp and stone which is one of the most effective and the a few like there's only like two options ranger has in survival skills that remove condition instantly without a single tick the only skills that do that on ranger are either the signet of renewal quickening zephyr which two are stun break or uh, sharpen stone every other skill would need uh, casting time even healing spring your healing skill would need a half second time that would give you more damage and will not remove something like fear or taunt you would have to finish the fear and if you fight a necro they can chain your fear for so long now you can't even remove the condition you would completely melt and sharp and stone not only condition removal it gives you a damage from range or melee whatever you want to give it for 20 24k usually on every hit that can be dodged or mitigated but it's completely beneficial, especially if you use weapon like um, staff or any weapon that doesn't do condition on auto attack. It will give you a consistent pressure and force some cooldowns. 
And a play style using survival like this doesn't have to go melee or force people to move in a specific way. Another thing is, like we said, you sacrificed a lot for using traps, like conditional removal, like sharp and stone, or a second stun break, which is, in my opinion, necessary for a play style like conditioned ranger. It used to be possible that you stun break with Celestia Avatar, but since this is gone, you can't only use one stun break. And if you use only one trap, well, this is the only time I would say trap makes sense. But that means you sacrificed Sharpen Stone for a trap. And that's a, like, it doesn't even make sense at this point. A melee option for some damage that people will never take all of it, because you can simply walk out of it unless you lock them inside it, so they either completely remove it or die at this point which doesn't give you much value uh, on Sharpen Stone. For Sharpen Stone, you will use something like Lightning Flexes and Quickening Zephyr, and the last thing is a trap. So why trap as melee instead of using Sharpen Stone, which would be a range for any weapon, while kiting even, and a condition removal? So you would, the logical conversion is using two traps. And now you have only one stun break. And for the healing spring also, it's a great for condition removal, but it doesn't fill the gap. Since it have incredibly low healing, and like I said, it's stationed, so it doesn't give you this much value. And using two traps can be effective for a belay style like droid, since you use a spike trap with flame trap to CC people, disable them, and trigger flame trap, which will damage them, Counting as a hitting disabled foe, which trigger ancient seed, which a great combo, but spike trap has no damage at all, so it's a sacrificial for only CC. So this is my take on the traps. So why I think they are not the best? I mean, I said about sacrificing things and stuff, but what count as the best, and why I say that? The best play style, in my opinion is a play style would ensure an equal skill a winning for the one who use it and against other builds and if you play a condition ranger traps will always lose to survival if the two players on the same skill level why i have enough condition removal to completely remove your condition from the traps even if you force me inside it with a ball or something, I would simply stun break or something like lightning flexes, remove whatever condition you put on me from the traps, and that's it. If not, I even triggered it with my bit, fighting you from range, not triggering a single trap out of them. How can you remove my condition? Well, you have only healing spring or you stun break. Once that's on cooldown, there's nothing you can do. So, you think you have higher condition than me? Actually, you don't. I have sharpened stone, you have flame trap. The other skill for me is probably stun break. You have spike trap, which doesn't do damage anymore. Or poison trap, which I can walk out of. And it's not new, so it will be removed like your short bow 2 skill or dagger on soul beast. It doesn't have access to something like weakness from quickening Zephyr. You don't have something like Dolly Extends, which reduce the condition damage or um, and give you stability. You don't have extra CC like the Cliff Equality on Druid. You lost stuff for things that stationed. I don't even have to trigger since my bit will trigger for me. I have higher condition removal, so I can resustain myself incredibly. I have higher healing since you have to either sacrifice your condition damage for Trabarone or not stealth at all, so it will diminish your kiting. So my build, the immobilized droid build, would usually win. The normal thing, it should win against every trap. So if you're fighting like another condition ranger on traps, you shouldn't lose. And this is how I identify or know what can be a better option. So I don't think traps are the best option. I think survival are a better option against them. The complete value of traps is not really worth it this much. And they are not fit for every situation. And that is another inconvenient I don't like in choosing skills or build. If you're solo roaming or small scale, traps can be extremely effective, especially in small scale. 
when uh, another people can support you sometimes but in zergs for example they are not a great option at all since they are melee and most of the time you need to be at range this is my intake on traps i hope it helped you guys understand them or um, give you an idea about them a lot of people ask me on traps and i always told them i don't think they are the best option so this is video discussing why i think that uh, i hope you tell me if you think i'm wrong in anything or um, you have another intake or think something i missed and tell me if you're playing playing trap or playing my build and i'll be seeing you next time